Ladies and gentlemen, Study Buddy Studios is proud to present The Blake Lockie Show, starring Blake Lockie. On today's episode, Blake demonstrates crowding calculation. No, I'm not dancing. No way I'm dancing for this. No way, Pat. Hi, I'm Blake from Study Buddy Studios, and I will attempt to provide grouting calculations. Our hole specs are a four inch hole with a one and a half inch PVC pipe, a 10 foot screen and a 60 foot hole and the screen is placed at 43 feet. We're gonna start by figuring out the annular space for the 17 foot of open hole. Our calculation for this we have a four inch hole. Um, for our calculation, we do four inches squared divided by 24.52. Results in 16 over 24.52, giving us a total of 0 0.65 US gallons per foot of annular space of open hole in the bottom here. To figure out how many bentonite chips we will use, we take the feet of open hole, which is 17, and multiply that by our 0 0.65 US gallons per foot. That gives us an answer of 11.05 US gallons. There are 7.48 US gallons per cubic foot. We take 11.05 US gallons divided by 7.48 US gallons per cubic feet to give us 1.45 cubic feet. There are 0 0.73 cubic feet of bentonite chips per bag. We take our 1.45 cubic feet, divide it by 0 0.73, and gives us a total of 2.1 bags of bentonite chips to fill the annular space of 17 foot of open hole. For our next calculation, we are going to use this equation, which is diameter of the hole, four inches squared, minus diameter of the pipe squared, one and a half inches squared over 24.52. This gives us 16 minus 2.25 over 24.52, resulting in 13.75 over 24.52, and a total of 0 0.56 US gallons per foot of annular space located here. We have a 10 foot screen located here and to fill this space we must do fill silica sand all 10 feet plus 2 feet as a buffer zone. We move over here to figure out the calculation. We have 12 foot of annular space multiply by 0 0.56 US gallons per foot. That gives us 6.72 US gallons divided by 7.48 US gallons per cubic feet, which gives us 0 0.9 cubic feet. There are 0 0.5 cubic feet per bag of silica sand, which results in a total of 1.8 bags of silica sand to fill this annular space here. On top of the silica sand, we must use one foot of bentonite chips. Again, we use our 0 0.56 US gallons per foot of annular space to fill this space here. There's one foot of bentonite chips times 0 0.56 US gallons per foot gives us an answer of 0 0.56 US gallons divided by 7.48 gives us 0 0.07 cubic feet of annular space. There are 0 0.73 cubic feet per bag of bentonite chips resulting in 0 0.09 bags of bentonite chips being used to fill this annular space. The remaining 30 feet of hole has to be grouted through grouting slurry down the hole. We come over here we have 30 foot of grout slurry to do times 0 0.56, which is our US gallons per foot, gives us 16.8 US gallons. 
We then divide 16.8 U.S. gallons by 26.2, which is gallons yield per batch of grout slurry. That results in 0.64 batches or bags of grout slurry used to fill the 30 foot of annular space. 0.64 batches times 24 gallons of water gives us 15.36 gallons of water for our grout slurry. And this is Blake signing off. Well done, well done, Blake. Woo. Nothing but stardom ahead of me, boys.